ladies and gentlemen, it's a privilege uh, and pleasure for me to be here. My name is Ramraj. I essentially uh, head up the India Impact Investors Council. We are a not-for-profit industry body which has been set up to evangelize social impact investing in this country. Uh, and uh, a lot of the work that we have been doing over the last six to seven years has really been in the space of equity impact investing, which is really focused around supporting for-profit enterprises, which also have social impact as a distinct part of their larger organizational agenda. But uh, especially post the pandemic, we felt it is important for us uh, to look at various other innovative ways of development finance, uh, which can support uh, the lower income and the underprivileged parts of the society. And which is why we really thought that we should launch this entire idea of the India Blended Finance Collaborative. So I'm sure this term blended finance is something which some of you may be familiar with and some of you may not be familiar with. And the whole idea of our conversation today in this masterclass, as well as in other masterclasses, is really to demystify this whole idea of blended finance. Why do we need blended finance? What is blended finance? What is the context of blended finance today? I think these are the, some of the kind of things uh, that we want to cover. But if I have to just give you a very high level perspective, Essentially, uh, in a post-pandemic world, the need for developmental capital has increased multifold. If we needed X amount of capital before the pandemic today, given that we've gone through such a you know, difficult time over the last two years, the, the capital requirement has increased substantially. And, but the availability of capital is limited. And therefore, it becomes important for us to not just think about what is the impact per rupee that we have invested, but think a lot more about uh, what kind of effective impact are we creating? So instead of just thinking about absolute impact, is there a way for us to think about impact per rupee? And essentially blended finance really tries to talk to this particular question, which is to say, how is it that we can think about making our development rupee or our development dollar go much further? How is it that one rupee of development can create maybe five rupees, six rupees, seven rupees of impact? Essentially, blended finance tries to work something in this area, which really tries to combine concessional or grant funding with other commercial sources of funding and essentially make a larger amount of available uh, money available for social impact. That's a very high level kind of an introduction to this entire concept. Uh, you know, the masterclass is really going to delve into this, all, all of this a little uh, in much more detail. But I just thought I'd take my two, three minutes to just give you a little bit of a perspective. And the whole idea is really to push this agenda of how do you maximize impact per rupee rather than maximizing absolute impact. So with that broad context, what do we really plan to do in this India Blended Finance Collaborative? Uh, we plan to do a, a, a series of things. One is for more, many people, who may not have been exposed to this entire idea of blended finance or innovative finance. The idea is to educate them. The idea is to give them more resources. The idea is to help them to understand how blended finance can help them in their individual contexts. So I think the one is really the capacity building, the exposure, and, and trying to see how we can get a large number of people understand this concept and maybe think about how is it that they can use it in their day-to-day -day work. So that's one part of the work. I think the other part of the work is there is another bunch of people who already have a good sense of what blended finances are aspirational. They would like to try out something, but possibly, uh, you know, there are points of friction. Uh, maybe they don't have all the tools. Maybe they don't know exactly, you know, what are some of the legal compliance, regulatory issues? How do they really go about it? The other side is really to help the people who are ready to start thinking about such transactions, start looking at something in this particular way. So I'd like to think about this as two parts. One is really provide the tools and resources to people who want to think about something like this. Other is really to give a larger base of people a broader exposure as to what this whole agenda is all about and why all of this is being done. Just to be clear, as an IIC, our role is really facilitate, facilitative. We are not into transactions or we are not, uh, you know, we are here to bring the ecosystem together, bring different kinds of players together. Uh, and, and really see how we can kind of do, uh, you, know, uh, you know, sort of various kinds of engagements uh, to, to allow different people to talk to each other. This is the first of the masterclasses and we will have a series of masterclasses. 
the initial few master classes are really a little bit more introductory helping people just get their little bit of their you know flavor of what this whole thing is but as we go into the deeper months into up september october november december we will be having more sector focused master classes where we can maybe showcase to people what kind of interventions have been done in health in blended finance what further is possible how can, how is it that if you are interested what could be the steps so there's a series of other things that we will plan slightly more detailed master classes for people who are a little bit more interested in knowing the specific use cases and so on and so forth so that's a larger context so for this master class i think as uh, you know uh, you know you can see on the screen we have uh, you know our partners uh, samrit uh, which is a part of ip global uh, the healthcare blended finance facility and samhita who are working with us we are really thankful to uh, both of them who are going to uh, sort of engage all of you give you all their perspective both these organizations have been in this space for a considerable amount of time have undertaken various kinds of transactions and also we wanted to uh, you know obviously we will have input from several other uh, organizations which have been part of this blended finance journey and we hope that this is something that all of you will uh, you know sort of value and hopefully this will give you perspective uh, to think about how you can take this journey if at all that is of interest to you that's the larger context of the conversation that we are uh, we are having today we would like to keep this as uh, you know sort of if i may say interactive as possible so please do put up your questions in the chat box and i'm sure the the people who are conducting the session will uh, will 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 take the time to try and answer the questions even otherwise in case the questions do not get answered or you know there is not enough time uh, please do reach out to us uh, you know at the iic and we will be happy to facilitate our idea is really to bring the entire system together and see how we can do more with the development financing that we have available that's a broad kind of a context that i wanted to leave